So I just want to clarify a couple of things because I've seen in the comments of my response to the commune of anarchy uh, some things that need to just be cleared up. And let me just start by saying I did not denounce anyone specifically except for anarcho-syndicalist boy and the organization of the organization, the Commune of Anarchy. I did not denounce anyone in particular. I only stated that I denounced the sentiments, the notions that were shared toward in in re, towards Comrade Knit, Comrade Jason Unruh, and Comrade Weisfeld. I was not directing my denunciation at any other specific person. Also, in regards to the Lumpa Malist News Network that I was attempting to start up with Kara in collaboration, and that I want to make that clear, it was simply a collaboration. It was not a fusion of the Red Pagan Network into or the Falcon General's cha channel, or anybody else that was involved under the umbrella of Lump and Malice, Ma Lump and Malice News. It was not, it, 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 it's not, Red Pagan Corner slash Network has never be, been, nor has ever claimed to be, a subsidiary of Lump and Malice News. We did not speak for months due to us both undergoing our own separate mental health issues at the time due to the fallout that we had had in relation to Comrade Net and Comrade Dark Synovia. I had also felt that given her continued struggles with mental and physical health, that she may not be in a capacity to start up slash run a network at the the current time, which is why I chose to go at my own. This was not meant to slight Kara in any way or rip the rug out from underneath her. I just felt that it would be a lot easier for us to just do our own do our own thing. I felt that it would allow us our own creative liberty for our respective networks by doing it this way. And I thought that we'd be able to collaborate in the future on issues relating to trans liberation and our shared Marxist views. However, I also do want to state that I would be lying if I didn't feel, if I didn't state that I felt that we shouldn't, that I didn't, I would be lying if I didn't say that I, I didn't feel constrained at times. And I felt that we shouldn't be constrained to our own echo chamber and that it would be more beneficial to have content from all forms of the left, Demarcus, Anarchist, Marxist, Leninist, Maoist, Third World, Hosius, Stalinist, whatever. I felt that it, it would be a lot more unifying, a lot more beneficial to have numerous different voices, even if we don't all agree on similar topics or similar ideals and that was the reason why I decided to go at my own because essentially I felt constrained and I felt that I wasn't allowed to talk to certain individuals I threw nobody under the bus this video was not even about anyone in particular except for Anarcho-Syndicalist Boy and the Commune of Anarchy. I was not invalidating anyone, their stories, or their feelings. This is frankly just petty discourse. It's based on paranoia and I'm honestly just not going to be manipulated and gaslighted by someone who's going to get upset and about 
you know, any time that someone doesn't agree with them about a specific person or organization. I'm not going to engage in discourse over other comrades or the validity of organizations like Midnight Productions. When I myself have done research into it and have found numerous people stating that there is a human trafficking ring known as Midnight Productions slash Express slash numerous other names that it goes by in Arizona. So unless this is a Mandela effect, I don't believe that Midnight Productions is some made-up fantasy concocted by NET that certain individuals are alluding to. Steve Struggle is a re real person, and there are several comrades that can verify this, and the work that the Arizona Rebellion is doing on the streets is legitimate work, and it is very it is revolutionary work, and we should not deny their existence or their 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 legitimacy. Just because you haven't heard about it doesn't mean they don't exist. Just because you haven't heard of a massacre that happened doesn't mean it didn't happen. People in our line of work sometimes have to keep a low profile, particularly if they do work on the streets. Media doesn't always report on certain violence, and in some cases it's even covered up by the media, by police and other nefarious actors. As people on the left, we should know that by now. Look at all the stories that, that do get covered up and not talked about. Or don't get properly covered like they should. A perfect example right now is Aaron Bushnell and the issues that are going on with that and how the media tries to cover up or if just in general skew the facts. It happens all the time, and we, and as leftists, we should all know that. And lastly, I'd like to address this elephant in the room. The former MRN network is not a joke. It was successful in some ways. It was unsuccessful in others. And I will admit, it simply just did not live up to the expectations that everyone had hoped for. This is something that is admitted by everybody that was involved. But to call it a joke and the individuals involved with it as a joke is a bold statement to make and a real slap into the face to people that you claim to be comrades. And frankly, this whole discourse of, I don't like this person or this isn't the correct way of doing something is Trotskyist behavior. Because this is exactly the type of crap that Trotsky pulled. I'm sorry that you feel the way that you do. I'm sorry if you feel betrayed and hurt. Because that is not my intention. But I guess it is what it is. I'm Red Pagan Nicole. And this has been Red Pagan Corner. Until next time.